Where I live, the most common thing we use to build a raised garden bed are treated sleepers. This is what they look like. They are CCA treated pine sleepers. CCA stands for copper chrome arsenate. And the first question everyone asks is, hang on, that's got arsenic in it? Is it going to be safe to use in our vegetable garden? And the short answer is yes. <laughs> I made my raised garden bed using CCA treated pine sleepers. CCA stands for copper chrome arsenic. CCA is Australia's most widely used timber preservative. It has been used safely in Australia for over 50 years and it's used in 120 treatment plants around the country. Treating the timber with CCA stops termites and insects from eating it, it stops fungus from growing in it and it generally extends the life of the timber. Where I live, Treated sleepers are probably the most commonly used product for making a raised garden bed, but everyone that uses it always asks the same question, should I be worried about the arsenic leaching into my vegetables? So I've done my research and I'm here to tell you what I found out was absolutely fascinating. I didn't know this, but arsenic is found naturally in water, soil and food. So our bodies are already accustomed to consuming a small level of arsenic. And any amount of arsenic that is likely to leach out of the timber into the soil, into our veggies, is less than what occurs naturally in the environment. I know. If you'd like to do your own reading up on the matter, I have put several links down in the description. They are definitely worth reading. I thought they were just so interesting. They're written in simple words. They're not science journals, so they'll be easy enough for you to understand. But if you don't want to read that, what it comes down to is that these treated sleepers are perfectly safe to use for your vegetable garden. Now look, if you got a piece of timber like this and went and wanted to lick it all day, yeah, that's not a good idea and that would not be safe. If you're handling treated timber with your bare hands all day and then you go home, pick up your food, eat your food, lick your hands, touch your face without washing them, not a good idea either. But using it in your garden bed with your veggies, perfectly safe. The CSIRO have done studies that have shown that any plants grown above the, the, the timber work absorb no CCA treatment chemicals at all, nothing, zero. Any vegetables that grow below soil, they don't consume anything either unless they are planted right up against the timber. And if you've got a vegetable that has grown right up against the timber, when you pull it out, you peel it, and that is all you need to do to remove any leaching of the CCA into your below ground vegetables. So that just shows how minute an amount of leaching occurs. But if you want to be even extra, extra, extra sure, you can line your garden with plastic. Now look, if it was just me eating the vegetables that I'm going to grow in this garden, I wouldn't have any questions at all. No doubt, I would be completely happy, completely comfortable and feel completely safe. But because so many of the things that I'm going to grow will be eaten by Slump, my little bearded dragon, I just want to be extra careful. Her body is so small and so tiny and delicate that I just don't want to risk any damage by her potentially consuming a little bit more than would be natural. So to overcome that, I'm going to line my vegetable garden. So if you found this video interesting and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you found the most interesting part. And if you want to keep up with the progress of my vegetable garden, subscribe to my channel because every week I'm giving an update on how my garden is growing. See what I did there? How my garden is growing? I'm so funny. <laughs> I've started with a bare patch of dirt, I've picked the right spot, I've built my garden and I'm hopefully going to grow my own veggies. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!